In the Territory, politicians are hitting the road as they try to shore up support in even the most far-flung places. In remote parts of the Lingiari electorate, Labor's vote last election was above 90%. But the incumbent insists he's still worried. Warren Snowden is hitting the bumpy campaign trail, trying to make sure Labor holds the safe bush seat of Lingiari. In what air, as in many other parts of the electorate, people usually vote overwhelmingly for Labor. It's not my looks, uh, and it's not always the case. So we may have got a very good result last time. That doesn't mean we're going to get a very good result this time. The minister took a tour of the long-awaited new health clinic, which is operating but not yet officially open. So on many side. Yep. But mostly the locals were busy with other things. In what air there aren't even the candidates' campaign signs. The government's hoping houses built under the Strategic Indigenous Housing and Infrastructure Program will send a positive message instead. But in Catherine, people were keen to tell the minister that Labor's cutbacks to the Work for the Dole program have been hurting. When these programs affect our human resource, our, our most valuable asset, um, then we can't participate economically. The minister promised there'd be no more changes, at least until after a review next year is complete. In remote, many of the remote communities, there are no other options in terms of employment, and people are going from CDEP effectively to becoming unemployed, uh, and that doesn't help anyone. A promise locals hope will be delivered. Katrina Bolton, ABC News.